Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's episode, I will continue working with Docker and today I will show you how you can manage a Docker container during your Angular build or Angular development. So during Angular development, you always want to work with ng-serve so your changes will immediately reflect in the browser. In the Docker environment, how you can do that? I will show you today in this tutorial. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, with our existing Docker file, I will remove our this nginx part and change this run to a cmd command and I will change it to npm run build, I will change it to npm run start because in this package.json, if you see this start means we are doing ng serve here. And also before this command, I will also expose our port 4200 or the container port 4200. With these changes, let's build this image. Docker build, I will be tagging this image as docker dev and I'll pass the context of the root with this dot. So few of the steps you can see it's using cache that means till you have not changes made any changes it will use your cache version and when we have some changes that will be run as a new command. So the image build is done and you can check with uh, what if the image built correctly you can actually go or run a command called docker image ls and it will show you all the existing image so you can see this docker dev what we have tagged it's available here and it's created 18 second ago okay so now let's create a container using this image to create a container I will use docker run and I will use dash p flag for our port so I want my application should run on port 8000 that's the host port and then the port I have exposed here in the image itself so I will use the container port to listen for 4200. And then I will pass my image name. So you can see it's actually creating the container and also it is executing this CMD part and it started in GSUB. So whatever you see this, this is the container log. So let's wait. So now it's started. So if I now go to localhost 8000 because that's the host port I have provided here. If I go there, it should work. So let's open our browser. I will open localhost 8000. Oh, it's not working. Why this is not working? Because now if you open the container, so docker psa, you can see this is the docker dev image and this is the docker angular. So you can see the ports, it's generally listened for 0000. Okay. So we need to do a quick change here in our package.json. In the ng serve part, I will pass a flag called host and then 0 .0 .0 .0. So with these changes, let's build our image again. So our image successfully built and also tagged as docker dev. Uh, let's create the container again. 
So I, I will use docker run the same command. So now let's try to refresh the browser and you can see our application is working perfectly. So to test the second option like whenever we'll do any change in the code our page should refresh automatically. So to do that we'll just try if this is working or not. So let's change our app component, component is the title. So let's test is docker refresh saving the changes no there is no change so it's not working right even if I refresh there is no change so why it's that because in the docker file what we have mentioned it will copy package.json to this and do npm install and copy everything but once the image built there is no change whatever we do in the file until unless we again build the image we are not sending any image to the container we are not sending any changes into the container so therefore there is no update you will be able to see so to fix that we have two options one during the build we can pass the volume mapping option or there is another easy or a best practice thing best practice way uh, to create a docker compose file so we'll take the second option as a best best practice so i will create another file called docker compose dot yml So with that file, the first thing I will mention version. So in my case, it's three. But if you using older Docker version, just check it may be two or one. The next thing I will specify service services. So in the services part, we may have different service. For an example. In our previous example, we should have two services. One is our Angular application and the second one will be Nginx. But in this case, as we have removed Nginx, so I will just go with our single service that is for Angular application. So I will hit enter and then I will add a name. So let's give a name of dev app. The next thing I will just build and the context I will pass as our root. Then I will also mention ports and with a dash I'm mentioning it's an array. Uh, so I need it to be 8000 and the container port to be listened to 4200. The next thing I will mention the volumes. It is the same. I will pass as an array. And then our node module will be volume mapped with the container. So let's add slash app underscore node underscore modules. So why app? Because if you see our Docker file, here we have mentioned work directory to be app and also we are copying our package.json inside this app folder so when you do npm install generally it will create a node, for do, node module folder inside your app directory so that's why we are giving path of app node modules the second volume uh, mapping I will do so that any changes here will also be available here so what I'll do I will dot dot means the current context with a colon the second mapping will be the app directory and that's it so with that change you no longer need to build your image or to create a container from your 
because Docker Compose will handle both of the thing for you. What you need to do, you just need to use Docker Compose and then sorry Docker dash Compose then up. And one thing I want to mention here, so Docker Compose comes with your Docker installation. So you don't need to uh, do any additional installation because Docker Compose is part of Docker. So with this change, let's run Docker Compose up. Mapping values are not allowed here. Line 2. Sorry, I forgot to add a colon here. Let's run it here again. So it is running the same steps from your Docker file. With Docker Compose, you can also have multiple Docker files and you can also pass like which Docker file would run in what state. For an example, if you have a server and a client configuration or a application in the same directory of a server application and client application, you want to run both then docker compose you can add those services and it will also refer to different docker file that is very easy and a best practice as well from docker side so you can see it started here now i will go again and i will just hit refresh button you can see this has now this is now visible but we'll test it with a change so let me go to app component.ts docker refresh i will add working here and hit save and i will go to this browser again it should actually automatically refresh and update so so in this case it's working and we also successfully created a docker compose file and also map our volume with the container and also docker compose will eliminate of those two step what we do manually like creating image and again we'll create a container out of those image those steps will be automatically done through docker compose so in the next week i will again come up with some advanced docker level concepts please do provide some comments and if you have in if you have anything uh, uh any problems or you want any solutions you can also put your comment in the comment box thanks for watching have a great week ahead thank you